Almost anyone can put together a simple movie these days using a cheap camera and some editing software. But there are still some effects that are only available to the pros in Hollywood. Imagine you've shot this video of your friend but want to improve his appearance with more facial hair and blushing cheeks. Unless you have access to an editing studio, it will be hard to make these changes look realistic. As a face moves, it changes shape and different parts become visible. Anything added on needs to change shape as well. But now researchers at Microsoft have come up with a new method that should make it easier to alter videos. In Hollywood, the trick is to use every piece of information you have about the footage uh, as tightly as possible. So if you know you're dealing with a face, you use a special model that understands faces. If you know you're dealing with a giraffe, you use special tricks for the giraffe. We built a general purpose system. It just should understand any video and the same techniques should apply in any situation. They called their method the unwrap mosaic as it literally unwraps or flattens a 3D surface. First, we uh, tracked interest points, points which had some certain discriminatory features, which were interesting. And we tracked these points, how they moved throughout the, uh, the video. Once we had done that, we tried to embed these different points into a 2D space, or we tried to extract the surface. Once you have obtained that face image, now people can uh, edit that face image and then re-render the video. With image editing software, you can change a background independently from the foreground. Now this can also be done to a video using the unwrap mosaic technique. In the giraffe uh, video, we modeled the whole video in, with two layers. One was a rigid moving layer, which was the background, and the other was the giraffe deforming layer, which uh, modeled the giraffe. And then the user can now edit both layers. So he put inserted buildings on the background layer, and then he inserted the SIGGRAPH logo on the front layer, on the, SIG, uh, on the giraffe layer. And then we re-rendered the video and showed how the edits can, are moving together with the giraffe and the background. But although the method works well for smooth surfaces, it stalls when an object has a complex texture, like this spiky dinosaur. Similarly, it can have problems modeling a textureless object with few defining features, like a striped shirt. The key current thing that we're working on is these textureless objects, because humans can look at the outline of the shirt and understand what's happening. We need to move the information from the outline towards the center of the object and that, that should be interesting. In the meantime, those of us that do our video editing at home could soon have an extra tool to work with as long as we stick to faces and simple objects. Our results are not going to be as good at the moment as Hollywood results but hopefully anyone will be able to use them.